Welcome to the freshman class. My name is Tony Harris, aka The Tutor, and I'm going over something really special, really important to me when I was a white belt training jiu-jitsu, and that is the half guard. And actually, it was really important for our competition team as far as white belts training jiu-jitsu. Um, when I started Brazilian jiu-jitsu, like at a lot of places, I was the smallest guy there, uh, and or one of the smaller ones at times. And it was, it was very difficult for me to do get to close guard on a lot of the bigger guys just because I hadn't really refined the position yet. And also, some of them were just so big I couldn't close my ankles. And uh, the better guys, the better jiu-jitsu practitioners don't let you get to close guard much because they're usually working on their stuff. So then you have to you know, deal with that. So what I, what I realized was, man, if I'm going to spend a lot of time in half guard, I probably should understand the position better. So I did a deep study of the position. I got a lot better at the position. That helped me out a lot. Today I'm going to give you some of the basics of what you need to understand as far as having a good half guard. Okay. Now, what is a half guard? Okay. If a closed guard or a full guard, which some people like to call it that too, I should have said that in the closed guard video, is this. Your legs are around their waist. You've got both of their legs isolated and away from you. Okay. And you've got some control over their hips. If this is a full or closed guard, then this leg out. A half guard would be when you only have one of their legs in between your legs. Okay? And there now, let me tell you something, man. Half guard is one of the most well developed guards in all of jujitsu as far as uh, people expanding and 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 the world having access to it and just an army of different techniques from the position. So you can find stuff on different half guard stuff everywhere. Now what makes half guard work, and usually most people have their legs crossed, or they'll be doing something crazy with their feet, or they'll be doing all kinds of different stuff with their half guards, okay? What makes the half guard work best is we have an underhook, which is when this is him having an underhook, when his arm goes under my limb, like arm or leg, that's an underhook. So what I want is for me to have, for me to have an underhook where my arm is under his armpit. The next thing, I want to make sure I'm on my side, okay? If I'm on my back, again, just like closed guard, if you're on your back and you're doing a half guard, they're flattening your back. They're putting pressure on you. They're being heavy on you. Much harder for you to fight and attack and move. But if you're on their side, and what makes you good on your side is when you have your arm retracted and you can really turn your body into them. Now, it's a lot harder for them to flatten you, a lot harder for them to put pressure and, 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 and work submissions on you, and it's much easier for you to begin attacking or at least get back to full guard, okay? Maybe blocking the knee and bringing your knee and hip through. So, this is a lot better for you. The last thing, guys, oh, and usually, don't be alarmed, go ahead and whizzer. Usually, when you do this to people, they'll usually do something like this to you. It's, we call this a whizzer. And don't worry about the name so much, but just whenever they do that to you, they're just afraid that you might go to their back, you know, because you can just get up and take their back. So when they do this, don't be alarmed. It doesn't really do much to you uh, as far as um, they're just trying to stabilize the position for themselves and make it safer. Last thing, when you're in the half guard, you want to have your head as low as possible and in the middle of their body. Low and in the middle of their body close to their belly button because that makes it safe for you now. It's much harder for them to push on your head, try to choke you, do whatever. A lot easier for you to do work. Hey, maybe you don't want to be in half guard anymore. Maybe you just want to get back to close guard. From here, so much easier for you to block and make the movements that you need to get back to these positions. Go back. back down. But also, it makes it easier for you to sweep. Because now, you're in a position where you can actually go on the attack. And get up and push them over or come back. Heck, if you're all the way down here, you can even trap their wrist, take their leg, bring them over. There's all kinds of different things that you can do when you're down here. But if you're all the way up here, go ahead and take that arm and push on my neck. Cross face. Oh no, oh no. Or some people will take this hand, they won't even whizzer, they'll take their forearm and push down on your neck right here, their elbow and stuff. And they'll make it so you make that really uncomfortable. That's like, you know, and that stops you from being able to 
do work too, and eventually you can get put on your back. So the half guard works best when you're on your side. You have your, their, one of their legs between yours. That's what makes it half guard. And then you're on your side. Your ear's by their belly button. You've got the underhook. You want to train getting the underhook and having your ear to their belly button as much as possible. This is, this is the half guard. And um, like I said, there's an army of half guards out there. So uh, your instructor is going to introduce you to it. Pay close attention to what, it, what they explain as far as the positions. Pay close attention to the detail, and we'll go from there.